0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx. This is one of the important questions for CBSC. Well, you are thinking right that instead of any other property, you will apply 0 to a to quickly change log sine to log cos. Yes, that is the logic. So, I am applying the same property and adding them. So, the time we add equation number 1 with equation number 2, we get twice of i and this becomes 0 to pi by 2 log sin x plus log cos x. What is log m plus log n? You got it right. Log m plus log n is log m n. So, you reach to log sin x into cos x. Again, you are thinking right that sin x and cos x should be converted to sin 2x. So, do not wait. Multiply and divide by 2 inside. Like this. And you get sin 2x by 2. Multiplying and dividing by 2 and you get sin 2x by 2. Now what? You apply log m by log n and you get this. This part can easily be solved because you can take log 2 outside and the integration of 1 will be x and you put upper limit and lower limit. Just see what this is what we have done. So, this part is nothing but pi by 2 log 2 with minus sign. What will happen to this part? This is a big question mark and that is why they say it is little confusing a question. So, do not worry. We will take this as i1 and we will work on this. I am taking this as i1. So, now and before that we have 2i and the integration of that second part is now minus pi by 2 log 2. So, only this i1 is a trouble. So, i1 what you thinking? Yes, you are thinking right. It is not a deviated part, but what you have to do, you have to put 2x is equal to t. Try to come back to the original question. In terms, you put 2x is equal to t. Obviously, you are changing the respect dt over t. Also, changing the limits. The lower limit is 0. Obviously, t will be 0. The upper limit is pi by 2. It is t is equal to pi because it is 2x. So, pi by 2 into 2 is pi. This is 0 to pi log sin x dx dt. This is another property where you can change the variable. So, after writing this property, you can simply change t to x. So, this is 0 to pi log sin x dx. Never say that we are back onto the question. No, only the expression is same. You are missing on the limits. The limits were 0 to pi by 2 and we have 0 to pi. Now, the third phase comes that we had to work on the limit part. For that, what you do? You take this function as fx and you apply 0 to 2a. So, for that, you need to do checking, which is f of 2a minus x. This is f of pi minus x. Obviously, log sine pi minus x, log sine x, fx. And we can see that f of 2a minus x is fx. You know the property that whenever this thing happens, it becomes twice 0 to a fx dx. Now, after applying this property, your expression will turn to 1 by 2 into 2, 0 to pi by 2 log sin x dx. And here you win because this i1 is now i, the original question. So, you put equation number 2 back in equation number 1. And if you do not remember that equation, let me write that equation for you. I remember it. This is that equation and you replace i1 with i. Let me repeat what we have done. Initially, when we took i1, this was the expression with us. We were, we were very happy with the limits because 0 to pi by 2, but we worked on 2x. So, by substituting 2x is equal to t, we got log sin t dt, but the limits were changed. So, then we worked on limits. For that, what we did, we took fx is equal to log sin x and we applied f of 2a minus x. So, this is very important because now we are using 0 to 2a fx dx. 
after applying f of 2a minus x and keeping 2a as pi, we were back on fx and we got that f of 2a minus x is fx. So this is the point where we change the limits, rather we broke the limits to 50% and this is 1 by 2 into 2, 0 to pi, 0 to pi by 2 log sine x dx and i1 became i and we substituted i in place of i1 and the equation became 2i equals i minus pi by 2 log 2 and your answer is minus pi by 2 log 2. In many school papers, this question comes for 6 marks.